In a matter of days, the president will have the results of the internal probe of the PNP on its officials. The investigation was initiated to ensure the nation's police officers are not tainted by the illegal drugs menace, which the Marcos administration is working hard to fend off. Again, Mark Fetalco has the details. The internal review aimed at determining police officers with drug links will be completed in two weeks. President Ferdinand R. Marcos Jr. said this during the first Joint National Peace and Order Council and Regional Peace and Order Council meeting in Malacanang. It's a very complicated situation. We have to be very careful because we have to be fair. It has to be just. The president emphasized that the government has nothing against the police force because it is the administration's partner in peace and order. He also appealed to the PNP to work with the administration, stressing he has an obligation to address the drug trade problem. But there should be also a mechanism where those who have, uh, who have uh, succumbed to temptation uh, must be brought to account. Last January, DILG Secretary Ben Hur Abalos asked high ranking police officers as part of the efforts to cleanse the police force of officers with drug links. The president also urged council members to address the rise in political violence and violence stemming from competition among drug syndicates. He asserted the country should tackle the peace and order problem now to prevent the situation from worsening, just like what happened in other countries. Just after the election, and uh, they just uh, halos sunod-sunod, kaya naging very prominent sa pag-iisip ng taong bayan na, na masyado na talagang naging malala ito. The President urged the Peace and Order Councils to focus on addressing the proliferation of loose firearms that fuel violence in the country as he also warned about the rise of warlordism. Mark Fetalco for The Nation. <laughs>